Well, well, well. Scream Fortress has arrived. I know I haven't been doing much videos and I would normally do top 10s when it comes to seasonal stuff, but you know, enjoying the 15 AI stuff, which I will be working on a Halloween one some point either this week or next week for the 31st of October. So what did we get? Well, we have new maps, six of them. Soul Mill, Hell Train, Bonesaw, Crusher, Goal, Ghoul Pit, and Spooky Ridge. We got the usual cosmetic case, as per usual, 22 community items. Chance to drop five, un well, community Halloween restricted items as bonus. Chance to give a taunt unusual fire as a bonus item, as per usual. We have five new taunts. The Scaredy Cat, Texas Twelum, the Travel Agent, Drunken Man's Cannon, and the Shanty Shipmate. From a apparently one all class, one spy, and two demo, and I can't remember the, what the other one. Oh, and one engineer. Taunt. Uh, what else do we have with the usual unusual effects for taunts and hats? We also have the, obviously, Scream Fortress War Paint, as per usual. Standard 11 community items, chance to drop an unusual fire, and all players will receive a gargoyle, as per usual. Access to the Mraz missions, trackers complete, collecting souls. Halloween contracts has been resetted as per usual, with new contracts to fit the year. Halloween contracts will give players a classic Halloween item, and chance for a ghoulish gains case, and you know, the usual stuff. Continue from last year's events as per usual. All cosmetics will grant Halloween 2022 item unusual effects instead of their normal, so interesting. Join Halloween matches by using a special event as per usual. And it will run through till 7th of November. And we got some general stuff. Update to Snake Water, interesting enough. And update several maps to fix localization issues, so. Pretty standard affairs, and I will obviously showcase at the end of the new taunts, and well, enjoy Scream Fortress, because we all love this seasonal year of horror and fun. Okay, enough. What the hell? Ah! Ah! 